All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be tackling this animation right here. It's that classic Plexus style you see a lot in motion graphics. And today we are gonna break down how to make this, how to get those separate faces, things like that, looping the displacement, all that fun stuff. You can grab this project file in the description for a dollar. Everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, it's full of assets, full of exclusive tutorials, a lot of fun things like that. You can go check it out in the description and everybody gets these project files about a week or a few days in advance before I actually record the tutorial. So if you want access to these early, you can go check that out in the description. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna clear everything out of our scene here and we're gonna start out with a plane and just scale them up to say right about there, control A and apply scale. Now I'm gonna hit tab and I'm gonna subdivide it and I'm gonna subdivide it to about 100 faces here. Now, the reason why we're doing that so we get, can get flexibility on the next step which is in the modifiers, we're going to add in a decimate modifier. Now we're gonna bring that ratio all the way down till you like the amount of triangles in the scene, which is gonna be that plexus effect. So however big or small you want them, that's how much you should decimate your scene. So I'm gonna give it right about there and I'm gonna apply it. So now when we go back to just plain view and hit tab, we have some nice triangles. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the modifier, which is a displace modifier, hit new, and we're gonna go ahead and get a clouds texture, bring depth all the way down, bring the size pretty big, something like that. Now let's go ahead and start making that plexus style effect. And we're gonna add in a uh, our particle. I'm gonna pick a UV sphere. You can pick any round or any object you'd like, but the plexus style usually asks for a round object. So we're gonna go round. Now, we're gonna take this and we're gonna add in a new particle system, make it hair, and then on source, go from faces to verts so we can get a, um, a particle and at the edge of each of these triangles. You can see some of them are missing, but we'll fix that in a second. Now let's go to render, go from path to object, select that sphere, then we're gonna get this. We're gonna just bring that scale down to right about there. And as you can see, some of them are missing. All you have to do is bring up that number and it fills up those spots where the missing uh, particles are. Now we can go in and add in a wireframe modifier and we have the classic plexus effect. Um, but we're gonna go much farther with this because some plexus styles, you can see faces showing up in there. But first let's animate this so we can actually show how that works. So what I'm gonna do is to animate this. I've shown this a thousand times. We're gonna get an empty here, plane axis. We're gonna go to the displacement and uh, displacement modifier and go from local to to uh, object and go pick the object, which is, which is our empty. And we'll click our empty. And if you just hit R twice, you can see how that works. So we're just gonna animate that. We have 250 frames, so I'll leave it there. Now make sure that your empty is selected. I'm gonna pick Y, go to the very end, hit the right arrow to skip a frame, and we're gonna go to 360, enter, and now we have a nice moving plexus animation. So let, now let's start shading it. So Z, well actually before we hit render, go to the EV render engine, turn on ambient occlusion and bloom. That's all we're gonna need. Select our wireframe thing, and we're gonna get a new, um, material, can't speak today, and then we're gonna go and make it very deep blue and bring up the strength, just like this. Now let's take this world's brightness and bring it all the way down to black, and now we have this here. What I like to do is make the wireframe pretty thin for this type of thing. So something light about there, and then bring our color a little bit over here. So now we have this. Now we need to add that same material to our sphere. So we have that plexus look back, and then say make this a little bit thinner. This is all your preference, but I like, uh, I think this looks much better when it's a little bit thinner than this, than the, uh, the sphere. So now we have this, we press play. We have this really, really cool plexus animation. Now, how do you make those faces sort of jump around and things like that in the original animation? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift D and duplicate this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete the particle setting. I mean the particle system and I'm gonna delete the wireframe. So now we have this, let's go into the shading tab and we're gonna, remove that uh, original, create a new, delete that. We're gonna mix shader right here, plug it into the surface. We're gonna get a emission and we're gonna get a transparent. Transparent BSDF, plug this to the bottom, put the emission into the top and give the emission the same color as the other one. So I'm just gonna go over here and copy this hex code, control C and then go back and color paste the hex code, which gives it that exact color. Now we need to tell them which ones to be translucent, all that stuff, but first we need to actually activate this trans, oops, and it's actually translucent, it needs to be transparent. My mistake, transparent BSDF. 
very important. Now we need to activate him. So we'll go into the shader settings right here on blend mode, alpha clip. And that's gonna make everything disappear, but we'll fix that in a second. Now let's get a color ramp, a noise texture. Plug the factor into the color and the color into the factor here. And then let's get, all right, now we're gonna get a geometry node right here and we're going to be using normal and what normal is going to do is you'll see it take effect in a second now you can see it working so if I press play and then bring this color ramp in bring the white portion this way we'll see less of those faces being used and it will just bring up the brightness and the normal is using the plane and the normal um, position as it's moving to sort of show faces and not show faces so that's how you do that effect right there and then I'm going to set up my camera here Control Alt Zero, snap it, and I'll hit R. Say I'm go going here and make it really wide, and give it some depth of field, and then zoom back in, just like this, and then go back to depth of field. Say bring my f stop pretty far down, and then say go up a little bit more like this. Improve my uh, composition here, and then bring that focus distance over, and bring that f stop down, and we're gonna get a really cool render just off of this. And then what you can do is you can duplicate it, and make another color, so take everything, make it bring it up, change the color, have a really, really cool composition. And then once you're done, to export it, hit this little printer icon, select where you wanna save it, go from PNG to FFmpeg video, encoding to MP4, medium quality to perceptually lossless, and then right here, render, render animation, and you're done. So that's how you make this really cool Plexus animation. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.